You will be able to cut that out, right? Yeah. I mean, I felt like a deer in headlights. Welcome back to Drinking While Interviewing. This is DWI. I am your host, James Murphy, and we have with us today an incredibly special guest, the owner and proprietor of the Green Monkey right here on Hillsborough Street in Raleigh, North Carolina, Rusty Sutton, an amazing fellow. He lets us shoot here every week. And today we are drinking Bell's Poolside. It's a 5% wheat ale brewed with cherries, and it's super refreshing. And right now, we're gonna take a sip of this. Cheers. Cheers to you, Rusty. That is super refreshing. I like them, but I'm a wheat guy, so. You're a wheat like guy? Them. I'm a wheat ale guy. Like, I, I am not a poolside person, but mainly because if I take off my shirt, I will actually <laughs> lower the planetary temperature just based on the amount of sunlight I reflect back into the atmosphere. Well, I'm with you on that Al one. Gore loves me for that, though. <laughs> I was really excited about this beer because, um, like again, we I, I drink all kinds. I go from IPAs, wheat, to ESB, but wheats are my thing. Our rep from Bell said that this one was going to be brewed with cherry juice. Um, I got excited because Honestly, all the stout, they had a bunch of stouts come out this year with cherries. And I never really could taste the cherry in the stouts. But this, so when I tasted this, um, it tasted like cherry. Yeah, um, you, do get, you do get a real a cherry fruit flavor right. to it versus uh, one of those, you know, kind of medicinal uh, yeah. uh, cherry flavors. Yeah, yeah. So I, I thought this was really um, um, refreshing. Um, I like the name, um, and so I, I, I like this, but it's a shame that it's so limited and it's not, once it's gone, it's gone. It's one of these things that's only released like every four years or something. Re every four, so we're yeah, having it's very limited. a beer that's released super limited. We might, we'll, we won't get this next year. I like it. I think it's a great for summer and mm. sitting by the pool. You're one of my favorite people I have met in a long time. Ah, well, thank you for saying that. And you, you run a very eclectic kind of store here in Raleigh, <laughs> North Carolina. Uh, yeah, we do. We're a gift shop that just so happens to have a craft beer shop, a craft beer bar, and sort of a hybrid bottle shop all together under one roof. And I manage and own it along with my partner, Drew. When Drew and I, we go on vacation, we love going to different gift shops. We like the gift shops that are like, almost like museums. You never know when you turn the corners what you're gonna find. We like the local stuff. So we said, we didn't think there was really a store like that in Raleigh. And so I decided, why not? So it was kind of a, a whim thing. It was, we started um, under a tent outside at the Raleigh flea market in 2007. Um, now we have grown and evolved from what we were then, but we just started liking the craft beer and really got into it, started studying it more. Um, like today I even have um, one of our reps, when she hears me talking to customers, she'll say, go Rusty. I remember when you didn't know what an IPA and a weed out was and you didn't know the difference. So, so you've had like a real, like uh, it has to have been like a real learning experience both oh, from the retail side of absolutely. things and the beer side of things. We used to rate all the beers, have little shelf talkers from Beer Advocate. Um, and people said, oh, that's a cool idea. Well, we didn't really do it for them. I'm glad they thought it was cool. That was our cheat sheet because we didn't know what the hell we were selling. <laughs> we are sort of your beginning craft beer shop, we get a lot of folks that come in and you can tell they're a little apprehensive. Um, they're afraid to ask, they go, oh, you don't have um, Bud Light <laughs> or um, Miller Light or something like that. And I always tell, uh, you know, I, then we just start the conversation. I said, okay, so you're a Bud Light drinker, you're a Miller Light drinker, you're, you know, so that's pretty much a Pilsner Lager, somewhere in there. Let's, uh, let's start you off there. We want um, the monkey fans to come in and try things, you know, and just have fun because you can have fun with craft beer. There's a lot of stuff out there. One of the things that's unique about the Green Monkey is they put together beer cocktails, <laughs> and there's not many places that I've been to that put together beer cocktails, um, and it's kind of a neighborhood phenomenon now. Um, yeah, our Monkey Mosa has gotten um, really good. Um, 
publicity out there. Um, one of the owners of Victories Brewing out of Pennsylvania actually came down to visit with us um, and uh, because of our monkey mosa. Um, Victory gave us that recipe um, and gave me permission to call it monkey mosa. Um, the reason we started the beer cocktails was earlier this year we got turned down for our wine by the glass. Um, really? Um, permit because we don't serve food. We're considered retail so you have to serve food. So we, I had to come up with something and Drew and I were talking and I said, there's gotta be a way to do something. And so we started making beer cocktails that started with the Monkey Mosa, the Mad Monkey. Um, that's where we take um, New Holland's um, um, Mad Hatter IPA, we mix it with whiskey sour. Um, Top it with cherries, two splashes of grinding, and I always say we mix it with love. It's always the love that makes it. You know, you were the one that um, turned me on to sours. I always really? tell this story to people because it's about to be released again, Victory Sour Monkey. You came in here, um, Drew was working behind the bar, I had gone up and you said, Rusty, share, will you share this with that's me? Right, so, yeah, because that's, um, that's, that's, like, that's, that's like a 13 or, it's, it's a high percentage It's beer. a little bit higher percentage, so we only have them bombers. I was excited about it because they, everyone said, oh, it's gonna be, it tastes like a sweet tart. And I'm like, how in the hell can a beer taste like a sweet tart? Um, and so I was really excited about that. And uh, we only got, that again, that's one of those limited things. So we only had like a case. And if I'm not mistaken, you had bought the last one. And I had yeah, not I had a chance yeah. to um, have, it, have it yet. And when you said, will you share it? And I said, good, because I want to try it, you know, and I didn't know if I wanted the whole bottle, you know, because it comes in the, um, the bomber side. And um, it was just a very, it enlightened me to sours. Um, and then I started, because um, it really doesn't taste like a beer. It's something totally different. It's pretty close to like a um, like a tart white wine, but with, yeah. but with a yeast kind of characteristic. Right, and I didn't know that beer could do that. And so that's why um, one thing that um, sharing that with you did for me was to tell people, I share that story with them, honestly. I share that story with a lot of people. But that's why you try different things because you you never know what you're going to like. That's correct. And, and I enjoy a sour now. I like gozas. Um, and so it just helped me. It opened, it broadened my horizon. It, it broadened my um, taste palette um, to try different types of beers. And because honestly, I'd never heard of um, a sour before. Now, for this beer, if you had to give it an arbitrary rating, which you have to, what would your rating be? Cherry licious. Cherry licious. <laughs> Could I come up with anything else? Um, no, I think it's just cherry licious. I'm I'm gonna give this uh, two nude sunbathers. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers to that. <laughs> Poolside by Bells, five percent, a wheat ale out of Kalamazoo, Michigan. This is a delicious, refreshing beer that you can have basically once in a leap year it sounds like guys if you're in the raleigh area come down to hillsborough street come check out the green monkey come say hi to rusty this is this is one of my favorite places in town it's a hidden gem come back and see us here on drinking while interviewing i'm james murphy i've been talking to rusty sutton here the owner and proprietor of the green monkey come back next time we'll have a new beer we'll have a new guest cheers rusty cheers we have with us today a incredibly special guest, the owner of the Green Monkey, right here on Hillsborough Street in Raleigh, North Carolina. F I don't know Rusty's last name. Sutton. <laughs> <laughs> I just got about Rusty now, like Cher. Oh, <laughs> makes sense.